Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showrooms again. And today we're gonna to take a look at the Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II. What I did, of course, is I went online and I checked through Amazon.com, eBay.com, DigitalGoja.com, and I looked at all the questions that people are asking that are relevant in how to work with the Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II. A lot of basic questions are being asked, but guess what? You might need some of these because you might not have asked, well, I don't know how to do this, and somebody actually asked that question, and now we answered it for you. So what we did is, again, we got the most basic questions that customers are asking about how to use the Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II. It's a hefty pocket camera, but there's a reason. They put a lot of features in this. Now, of course, if this video is helpful to you, always remember to hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future questions and answers, sessions and tutorials like this. Plus, any questions or comments, please don't forget to place them underneath. Well, let's do this. Let's get into what people are asking about the Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II. Can I do night scene photography and low light photography with my Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II? Well, absolutely. We can do it if you choose the old fashioned way, which is going into manual and then setting the exposure yourself for longer exposures. And of course, for something like that, you have to go into your, your menu here for your ISO and change the ISO. And you can go crazy because if you notice, I can bump this all the way up to 12,800 ISO. Look at this. It looks like if my studio is on the surface of the sun. So that's one way to do it. Another way is you can go into your scene mode and now with the scene mode I'm going to use the command wheel up front and change the different scene modes and notice that you have a way to switch all the way over. You even have fireworks. Wow, that's awesome. Of course there you're going to need a tripod. But here you have your handheld night scene mode, which works for both portraits and for landscape. So this way the camera is doing the settings for you and all you have to do is do your composition and fire away. Does the Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II have the capability of using an external flash? Yes, you do. You do have the built-in flash but this is good to about maybe three, four meters. But they did give you a full hot shoe so you can use some of these incredible wonders that Canon has for flashes, like for example, the new 430E XRT. That mounts perfectly on there. So now you have the capability of using a really good external strobe with your Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II. Does my Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II have a way of doing close-up shots? Absolutely. They did a really good job because of this articulating screen. This is very important to us macro photographers because a lot of times we're getting right up on the subject matter and at really weird low angles. So I can actually move right in. Then you have to change your little command wheel to macro. And then when you press a shutter, boom, it already locks the focus. And again, if you move into close, let me see if I can create that effect. I'm getting pretty close on here. Yeah, still not getting, you will get a warning. There it is. You get that little exclamation warning and that means you can't focus properly there. So move back a bit, press a button, records it. And there you have a beautiful macro shot and you can zoom in and check for detail. So again, they did a fantastic way of being able to capture close-up photography, whether you're into philately, coins, jewelry, anything that requires close-up work with great detail. Can I shoot action shots with my Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II? Well, you can, but you're going to have to work a little bit more on it 
because if you go into your scene mode and you flip this around using your command dial you're going to notice that you have scene modes for scenics and portraiture and even star photography but you don't have a sports mode so for this guy you're going to have to work a little bit harder you're going to have to switch it over to time value tv setting that's what that means and now you're going to change with your command wheel your shutter speed so it'll pick the appropriate aperture and iso so notice i can go all the way up to one four thousandths of a second and it's now set to continuous shooting so as long as i hold the shutter down it's firing away and it's at about a rate of about two and a half three frames per second so you should be able to capture especially at that high shutter speed some nice action shots Can I increase the zoom magnification of my G1X Mark II? Well, there are some aftermarket adapters out there, but you have to be careful because remember, this lens does actually extend out when you're doing your zooming. Now, it maxes out optically at 5X, but notice that you can actually activate a digital zoom so that now I can go all the way up to 20X. So that's really awesome if you need to bring in your subject matter considerably closer. Remember, you still have a much larger size sensor, so it'll do a really good job with the digital zoom on here. So you can, in situations where you need a little bit more oomph, you can zoom out to 20X using their digital format with your Canon G1X Mark II. Can I control and transfer my images wirelessly with my Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II? Yes, you can, but you have to set it up. You have to go into your menu and you want to scroll into the tool section and you're going to scroll all the way until you get to Wi-Fi. There it is, Wi-Fi settings. And then you're going to set it up. Plus, of course, if you want to control the camera, you're going to need to download the app from the appropriate app store. So that, that way you can set the camera control on your favorite smartphone or tablet. And they even added an NFC connector, which is great for some of the smartphone and tablets out there. Plus, again, it also functions with that new connection station that they came out with from Canon. So, yes, you can do a lot through the Wi-Fi capabilities with your Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II. Is the Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II made in Japan or in China? Well, honestly, that's neither here or there in today's world of manufacturing, but if you look at the bottom, it does say made in Japan. And it seems like Canon is trying to maintain their plant in Japan as their main source for their cameras and lenses. Does my Canon PowerShot G1X have a viewfinder? No, it doesn't have it built in. It has a really nice articulating three inch screen. That's a really nice feature, but for us that prefer you can get an optional viewfinder that attaches to the top here and you now have an electronic viewfinder that works perfectly with the lens that is incorporated in the Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II. Can I shoot video at the widest angle with my Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II? Yes, that is one of the new features that I guess Canon had issues with the previous model. Where this one, when you now set it to video mode, you can zoom from as wide as 24 millimeter all the way to the 120. And they even gave you the capability of going to digital zooming while you're doing your videos also. So it allows you to go from 5X with optical all the way up to 20x so remember you do have the full range of your zoom capability whether optical or digital with your canon powershot g1x mark ii
Can I do underwater photography with my Canon G1X Mark II? Yes, you can, but wait a moment. Don't take it just like this. This way, it's not waterproof. You can get an underwater housing from Canon, which is a WP D53 that allows you to go to some incredible depths, many, many meters, but you have to get the housing and put the camera in it. Plus, since they know that that was a feature that a lot of people wanted, guess what? You go into your scene mode and there it is. You have your underwater setting, which now calibrates your exposure and your white balance and your focus for underwater photography. Of course, using again, the underwater housing. So yes, you can be the next Jacques Cousteau with your Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II. Can I do selfies with the Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II? Yes, you can. Canon thought this out because they know that that's a very important feature in today's photography world. So they gave you this really nice three inch articulating screen, which disengages. And now look, it knows to switch to face select. And there you go. You now have it so that you can do selfies and it will actually find me in the image. Notice how it looks on my face. Well, I guess it missed me a little bit. I guess it thinks my face is a little bit larger. But guess what? You can touch on the screen and that way you can lock your focus. Now you can do it by activating the shutter and you can take the picture that way. Or of course, this camera has the Wi-Fi capability where you can now download the app and control it from your smartphone or tablet. So absolutely, you can do some really nice selfies with your Canon G1X Mark II. Can I shoot RAW or just JPEG on my Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II? Yes, you can do RAW, but you have to be in the manual setting. You have to set your command dial to manual, and now when you open up your menu, you can go ahead and scroll down to the size image that you prefer. And notice that you have JPEG, you have RAW, and you also have RAW and JPEG. So it allows you to record in both formats. But of course, depending on the size of your card, that's gonna put a big strain in the amount of images that you can take. But there's a lot of us out there that prefer to work with RAW images and later on do any kind of final touch corrections post-production. So your Canon G1X Mark II will let you do that. What kind of memory cards can I use with my Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II? Well, remember, this camera not only records JPEG and also it records in RAW. So you have to take into consideration, number one, the classification. Here's a perfect example. This one is a 32 gigabyte and it's a class 10. You wanna make sure you always stick to the class 10. And if you're gonna be doing a lot of raw shooting, keep an eye on your read write speed. You wanna go with a little bit faster one. You can also work with the micro SD cards that are on the market. Again, as long as you make sure that it is a class 10. And if you choose to, since this does work with the SDXC capacity, you can go all the way up to something as monstrous as this, which is 128 gigabyte. But now this one is a nice fast speed, which is great if you're gonna be doing a lot of raw shooting and video capabilities. So all these will work perfectly well with your Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II. Can I attach filters to my Canon G1X Mark II? Well, there are some aftermarket adapters out there, but let's say you don't happen to have one or you don't own one, you can always work. And one of the more popular filters that we use today is a circular polarizer. I of course happen to have one for my SLR lenses. Always try to get something that's larger because that way it makes it easier to work with. And what you have to do is physically put it in front of the camera. So what you're gonna do is activate your G1X. You're now going to do your polarization on the subject matter manually, like so. And when you have the polarization effect, you now place 
the G1X Mark II back of the polarizer. You have to keep it in the same spot so that it does give you the polarization effect. And again, that's why it's important to work with a larger size filter so you don't have any vignetting. Plus it makes it easier to hold. So that way you can hold this guy steady while you place your G1X right in back of it and you place it right up to the glass. Can I actually put a date stamp on my images with my Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II? Yes, I guess Canon noticed that there were a lot of people asking for that feature. Now remember, once you activate that feature, you have to deactivate it because if not, it'll stay on permanently. So you have to go turn on your camera and we go into our menu settings and we're going to have to scroll all the way down until we find that. It's probably going to be towards the end because honestly, this is something that very few people needed, but it is there. And there it is, date stamp. And when you activate it, you can switch it to date or you can switch it to date and time. And it notices that it says it places it to the lower right hand corner of your image. So that way, if you need to print your images and have that information on there for whatever purposes you have, you do have that capability with your Canon G1X Mark II. Can I charge the battery in my Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II? No, most manufacturers have now come to the conclusion that it works much better to remove the battery from your camera and plug it into a wall wart to charge. It comes with the standard CB2LG Canon wall wart. This guy is universal, so that means it changes voltage from 100 to 240 volts automatically. But of course, since it's purchased here in the US, you have the standard US plug, so you would have to get an adapter if you're traveling abroad. Here is your NB12L lithium ion battery. This guy is a 1920 milliamp and 6.8 what our battery very efficient plug it in like so put it into the wall and keep an eye out on your indicators when it's charging that one's lit up and when it's full that one lights up usually takes about an hour hour and a half to get a full charge so this way it's a much more efficient way to do your charging for your canon power shot g1x mark ii How many images can I do with my Canon PowerShot G1X Mark II per charge? Well, this works with one of their better batteries. This is the Canon NB12L Lithium. This guy happens to be a 1910 milliamp, 6.8 watt hour life. Now, what we've seen is the average use that you get officially from Canon is about 250 shots but that all depends on what mode you're working with whether you're also shooting video whether you're shooting in the continuous focus there's a lot of different factors so if you know you're going to be out and about for a long day of shooting just pack an extra battery to be on the safe side that way you don't have to sit there and stop using your wonderful new canon power shot g1x mark ii Can I fully close the screen on my Canon G1X Mark II? Well, I think what the consumer here is asking is whether this actually reverts the other way to seal the actual LCD in. No, it does not. It has a really nice articulating screen that allows you to move it to many different angles for usage, but it actually does not completely protect the screen so I would highly suggest getting some kind of screen protector and of course I always suggest having a really nice case so you can protect your investment of your beautiful Canon G1X Mark II.